What is up, guys? It is your favorite simmer. What is this? Would you like to activate? Uh, yeah, 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 that's fine. Uh, it's your favorite simmer. Welcome back. If you guys are new to this episode, this this series, there's a link to the playlist in the description. I know we're on like episode 20. I think last episode we got leader of the free world. Uh, we ended up having a kid. The kid's off at uh, like boarding school or something. Man, it's been a minute. It's been a minute. I haven't played Sims in a long time. And my gosh, do I miss it. We have Holly, who's actually... I think she was famous before we started, before we got married. But I got to be honest, I really don't worry about Holly. I just worry about my boy Josh, Jish, hanging out. Um, he is leader of the free world. We actually just hit level 10 in the political career in this past episode, which was very cool. Um, we just have to get our charisma up a hair. Uh, we also, I think, completed his lifetime wish we did, which means we should have lifetime wish points, like 60,000 points. No idea what I want to get, but... You need to do like honorary degree motive mobile. What the heck's that? Instead of taking a taxi around, your sim will be picked up and transported by the motive mobile. Motive mobile is a state of the art vehicle designed to get your sim from point A to point B without sacrificing comfort, hygiene, or other of your sims. Oh, that's kind of cool. Um, hmm. intriguing climate control unit. So he's going to die soon. <laughs> I'm just going to say it as it is. He's not going to live much longer. Um, so what we need to consider is how can he contribute to his son's life? You know, give his son more than he had. Like every parent's dream or I think most parents dream, you know, they have a kid. They're like, ah, I want to give this kid more than what your boy has. You know, I have so-and-so. I want to give my kid more. I want to leave them with a better foundation to succeed in the future. You know, so I have no idea what that looks like. We currently have $45,000. I think I said I was going to move out soon. But like, eh. what's it? Warren Buffett, the world's richest man, still lives in the house he lived in when he was like a youngster or maybe third richest, maybe behind Elon and Bill Gates. Now, anyways, my point is he lived in a freaking, he still lives in a very like basic house. And maybe we should just sit on the money and do something else with it. He started investing actually. And I believe we have a lot of money. We could buy more, more locations. So we own, we're partial owners of all these spots. We could like become partial owner of more spots, I guess, and then eventually just give the properties to my son or something, which maybe like we just buy out these properties, see, and then that would be pretty good for my kid. Then my kid can just own the world, literally just own everything here. Might be worth it. We'll play it by ear. For now, let's just hang out. Um. Anyways, Sims 3, life simulation game, super fun, just hanging out. We had a kid, kid's at boarding school, so I don't need to think too much about him. He was actually doing very well back at home, but I wanted him to just kind of pursue his own thing. And I also never did boarding school before, so I wasn't sure how that functions. So I just wanted him to do his thing. Um, yeah, best friends, good. Good friends, wife. Oh, romantic interest. Ah, ah I used to flirt with the old uh, city council member back back in my day. When I wasn't the leader of the free world, you know, <laughs> I used to flirt with my my colleagues there in in, in the office. <laughs> Good old Josh party here, and I think our our kid's actually named after my dog. I always jokingly say whenever I have a child, his name will be Jacks Junior, after Jack Senior, my Australian Shepherd. <laughs> I gotta I gotta decide if I want to go that route. Obviously, that'd be a pretty mean thing to do to my kid, but. Jax is pretty cool. It's almost Holly's birthday. I don't think we're going to worry about Holly's birthday. Do we care about my wife enough to worry about the birthday? Like, I care about my wife. But not enough to throw a birthday. She's kind of just there. Um, I got to be honest. She really doesn't do much for the house. She, I don't think she really cleans. She doesn't work. I don't think we ever got her a job. No. did cook this meal, which is pretty nice. That's pretty sweet. You know, a good meal. Hey, I'm not going to shoot down a good meal. You want to cook me a good meal? I'll, I'll eat a good meal. All right, let's try and get our charisma up. He needs to get to 10. Do we care? Do we care to get his charisma to 10? There's leader of the free world gets picked up in a limo. Don't you love to see it? That's where your tax dollars are going. This limo that just picked me up. There he is. Check him out. Handsome. Old. Typical presidential candidate right there. <laughs> handsome. Maybe not handsome, but old. 
good, good representation of the German Republic. Someone in their like 70s on their deathbed. Love it. <laughs> okay, we're going there. Um, by the way, this is going to go up the day after Thanksgiving. So happy Thanksgiving, everyone. I hope you guys all got a very happy and healthy Thanksgiving. Got to spend some time with the family. Um, it's good to have you guys here. I'm thinking in the near future, we're going to maybe start up a Sims 4 series. I'm in a weird spot where there's not a single game I want to play. I know. Josh, how's that possible? I don't know, man. I think I did miss a bit of time when I actually had a bunch of games like I wanted to play. And then I think I was just recording other stuff. So like right now I'm on like episode 20 something of like YouTuber's life and I'm still going, you know, <laughs> still, still trucking along. I, I don't even like plan on stopping anytime soon. And I've been uploading it almost daily because whenever during the week I'm like tired and I have to record, I haven't recorded much during weekends. So during the week, if I have to stop and record, I just want to record something I can do very mindlessly. And YouTuber's life has been that thing. And I don't mean that in a negative way. I actually really like YouTuber's life, but it's pretty mindless game at this point i kind of just do stuff in repetition which is sweet for just recording when i'm stressed and don't have time or don't want to think about other things let's go uh just chat with my son go check up on the sun you can't call your son all right what are your other options here i feel like it should be an option i'm making that up memorize scene i don't even know what that means crazy how many options there are on sims 3 man it has just been so long can you, like, clean this place up? Actually, if you just click on yourself, can you clean house? Streaks? Uh, no. I thought you could. Oh, well, we got a maid. The maid's going to clean it up, right? Go grab another snack here. Dude, you just made two grand by going to work. My gosh. I wish I could make two grand in a day. The dream. Imagine two grand a day. What would that be? $600,000? $700,000 a year? You actually think about that. You think about how much more money some people make. It's it's a crap ton of money. I ain't downplaying a two grand a day, but my gosh. Some people make even more money than that. How much more money do you need than two grand a day? All right, cool. <clears throat> so we got that done. We could start doing funding and stuff. I could throw like an office party. Really don't want to. Really don't want to. Go like discover discover some stars or something. Do you have to do that at night? Go, like, search the galaxy. His goal is, like, discover stars, retire, like, gain a celebrity level. He'll eventually gain a celebrity level. I just don't know when. I do want to go to uni. I think that's kind of my big plan with the, uh, with the kid. Hey, wait, where's my... No, 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 paint... No, don't paint still life. I hate still life. That means you have to take a photo and stuff. Just paint, like, something. I think I'm going to give all these, uh... All these pictures to my son. Why is she throwing? She best not be pregnant. Wait, are you pregnant? Did I? Did we try for baby before I stopped playing the series for a couple weeks? I don't think we did. I don't remember trying for a baby. No name. Perfect. Uh... Do we want to go buy out these properties and make money from it? I don't... can't decide. Do we want to do that? How do you transfer properties? Let me see if I can just transfer these to my son. I'm not sure if there's an easy way to do that. So, like, it's real estate. And, like, check real estate. Maybe you can? I don't... Because there's sometimes in The Sims 3 specifically, if you die, all your money and stuff just vanishes if he's not part of the household. Hmm. I don't like it. It looks like it looks like it would just vanish right now. Hmm. Not no me gusta. We could buy a resort. We'd have to place a resort, but we could buy a resort. We want to buy a resort. Do we want to do that? We want to buy a resort. All right. Let's go. Well, uh, let's go buy the rest of these properties, I guess. And oh, hmm. Hmm. Wait, I'm trying to think this through. I don't think it's worth it. Because we're just going to have to sell them again whenever the sun is, like, ready to, like, take them on. I think we should invest in something else. What else can we invest in that makes financial sense? Honestly, I kind of just want to own everything, though. A home doesn't make sense because that won't go to the sun. We could buy, like, random items, I guess. 
Like, what do we have? For, we have all these rocks. Like, these rocks go to my son. The mom's painting, which is actually going to... I know I'm down-talking the wife, but the wife is going to end up being beneficial. Like, she's painting, which will end up... Uh, We'll end up giving that to our son, and they actually appreciate. I really like the system for uh, painting. I actually don't 100% understand how it functions, but items appreciate in value. So, like, original value is what it's worth the day you paint it. So, 186. Then it appreciates to 221, but it just keeps going. Uh, can't recall how that actually functions and how that increases. But I like the idea because I can just kind of like sit on all these paintings, and eventually they'll be A, worth more, and B, Maybe when she dies, it'll be worth a lot. I don't know. I don't know. But it's kind of a cool little system there. Other thing we could do is... We could get rare items. So we have these points here. We could just get some rare items in here. That like permanently increases stuff. So... That can be like handed over. Hotel Mogul would be kind of cool. Gives bonus on all resort housing. Like I kind of want to get a resort anyways. But I think I'll probably end up going to the kit... Like a hover bed. Ground beds are a thing of the past. Purchase this. Say the art. Hovering slumber satisfaction. Like, I just want to buy that. And then my son can have it. This as well. Uh, turns your house into a place of meditation. Relax in the fresh air and soothing. So, like, that's an item. So, we can give it to my son as well. So, I'm just going to buy both this. Buy it. What's the other thing I said? Hover bed? Let's do it. So, now my son can take both these with him whenever I die you know the very happy very happy life whenever we die uh the sun can take these is this the hover bed it just looks like a normal bed i kind of don't like that i'm about to put my parents in the bed i will be taking on it's a little creepy but you know what that's okay <laughs> that's okay cool sick so now the house should be a lot better i think it makes the entire house better, no? Am I making that up? I thought it did. Guess I'm making it up. Work out for four hours. He wanted to achieve level five in celebrity. Sure. We have this bar <laughs> outside to do chin-ups. You can just go do chin-ups for seven hours, I guess. You have to meditate at that? Really? That seems annoying. Look at the hover bed. I feel like it's shaking. It seems like a very uncomfortable bed to, like, do your thing in. Like, like sleep. No, that's what I, I meant sleep. I meant sleep. I promise it's all I meant. Hey, finish up. Finish up. And done. Go shower. Cool. A couple celebrity points for you. Then, like, I guess you can go to sleep. I don't think he will sleep well, though. Look at the hover bed. Cool bed. What just happened? Oh, wait, it'll tell me there. Hold up. Let's see what just happened. That sound sounds positive. A brilliant painting. Oh. Oh, just painted like a gorge. Oh, wow, it is very pretty. Nice, Nicely done, lady. Put in the pockets. Nice. Go to sleep. Look at that, though. Nice little hover bed action. Love it. Nice. And we could get, like, a saucer light. Is, is that a thing in this game? I remember it was a thing in the last game. I used to just always use them because they were the easiest light to, like, light up any room. That's just annoying. Just so dark in these rooms, man. Cool. Look at that. Look at that. Ah! The lamp is annoying. Look, though. Hover bed. It's a cool bed. That's going to be the title of this video. That's why I'm getting such a good shot of it. Wait, she's meditating? Oh, screw meditating. I kind of thought... Oh, no. It boosted the decor. Oh! So if we put it in the kitchen, the decor is going to be, like, through the roof. Oh, that's cool. What's your son doing? You doing okay? Where, where is he? I, I kind of want to know how he's doing. Uh, we sent him to the most expensive prep school. So, like, he should be good. But I'm just looking at those TikToks. Like, oh, sends me to become an engineer. 
or something to college and then it like drops and is like drunk at a party like what's he actually doing at prep school is he working or is he working and i winked irl for that one um anything else we want nothing yet none of these are items haggler none of these are items we could have like made a clone of myself if i really wanted to but eh, i think when i die i die you know i think that's i think that's what's gonna happen once once i actually die your boy's done he's he's punching his ticket he's out i don't think i'm gonna try and keep myself alive longer than i than i am currently i think that seems very much unnecessary Can you call your son now? I forgot, you actually do a chess battle. Uh, you just saw that? I can invite the next rank chess guy. Chess guy. I think he's actually like one of the smartest people. Isn't, what's, where's his logic? Yeah, he's eight in logic. Pretty sure he could win it all if he wanted to at chess. Yeah. Can you call your son? Jack's party. Give him a ring. Hello? No, I'm not saying hello to someone outside. I mean, hello as in call your son. Who's trying to talk? Listen to a story? I don't want to listen to your dang story. We're out in the freaking freezing cold. Yeah, I'll probably end up eating there. It's probably fine. All right, now give him a call. Check up on your son. Man, he's like... Yeah, yeah, dude, he's just hanging out. Jax. Hey, son. How's... How's, how's it? How's it going? Mm, seems like he's doing well, boys. Good news. All right, let's go eat here. So he's a celebrity, so we're going to just get paid to go eat there, which is kind of sweet. They're like, oh, come here, come eat. I'm like Kim K out here, you know? Little Kim Kardashian rocking. Rocking guy. How's, how's painting going? Another painting? Nice. I want that donated. I want it donated to your son. Your son's future... Investments, I don't know. Join the ghost hunting career? Who do you think you are joining the go ghost hunting? We're not going to do that. Retire? If he retires, though, then we're not giving my son more money. Hmm. We'll, we'll think about it. How is our celebrity level, by the way? Uh, we're not even close. It's really tough to uh, to build up the celebrity level. Uh, five's like a challenge. Like, getting to four was really easy, but five is actually... They don't make that easy. How old is Jax? Doesn't even tell me. I can't even check up on my son's age. I think it goes for a week. Maybe he'll be home tomorrow? I don't know. Not happy with your meal? Eat it. Shut your mouth. Uh, I got sick. Ooh. Ooh. You call your son too. I ain't promoting it, dude. I just got sick. Literally throwing up from the meal you fed me. Get the heck out of here. Who, the, who do you think you are? Do we want to buy these properties? I still don't like. I'm kind of up in the air. I feel like it's a stupid idea. But man, owning like the entire world seems like a pretty cool like dude. Like that's kind of sick. Who wouldn't want to like own everything? There's this guy where we're from. I don't know, what's his name? He was a financial guy. His name is uh I'm from RI, Rhode Island. And I think most of you guys know that. Uh there was this guy called the his name's Alan Sean Feinstein. And he was like a big flip philanthropist philanthropist and what he did was he made deals with everyone 
There's a school named after him. He had a movie theater named after him and all this other stuff. But his one rule was if I bought or invested in your property, um, I had, you had to change the name to my name, which a little egotistical, but uh, ended up working. He ended up owning like a bunch of stuff and everyone knew him, but he was a cool guy. He used to, uh, he used to go to like, um, he used to go to like elementary schools and give out these weird Alan Sean Feinstein cards, which would give you discounts at all these like random stores and stuff that he was invested in. And you'd be an, and then you'd be a Feinstein junior scholar. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> this actually is really funny. So it was only for like kids, like elementary school age kids, like the second and third grade was these cards, but you could use them forever. And the idea is that in the future, you would try and give back and contribute to, like, it had good meaning behind it, okay? But the idea was you'd be a fine son junior scholar. So in the future, you'd give back to your, your community with money or with community service, whatever it may be. And uh, it would get you into, like, these zoos and stuff. It would get you into the local zoo. It would get you uh, discounts at movie theaters. Kind of like a AAA pass, but only for, like, the state of RI and maybe a few other locations. Needless to say, uh, I was uh, dating my girlfriend at the time. My she's still my girlfriend, so my girlfriend. And uh, wait, what happened, Jeremy? Oh, he's sick. Uh, we I ended up going to the <clears throat> local zoo, and her dad is like part of the board of the zoo. I don't know. Anyways, Gus and Bree. All right. Uh, and then we got to like go backstage and meet some animals. It was freaking sick. I got to be honest. It was so cool. But <laughs> I come home and I tell my, my brother, my twin brother about it. And he goes, <laughs> he freaking goes, he goes, what's she a Feinstein junior scholar? <laughs> because she was like one or two years younger than me. <laughs> so he's busting my chops about her being younger than me and fly she's a fine star junior scholar. I was like, no, dude. No. She got us in for because her dad's on the board. Uh, my point is I'd love to own all these properties and just name them after me. Everything's just called like party theater, party zoo, party restaurant. I'm sorry, guys. That's actually the end of this episode. I did absolutely nothing. We ended up investing in these, which I'll end up giving to my son. And he'll take with him to, like, college and stuff, which will be really nice. And at those locations, like, it'll actually be awesome because it's going to allow him to kind of live a better life in the future and have more money to his name so he can start off going to the workforce at a higher position at which than we did uh, in the Sims, you actually only start off with like 20,000, which allows you to buy a starter home like this, which is like almost empty as most only the essentials. But at this point, we're actually pretty wealthy. So you see where we at now. This is a uh, slightly more crap in my house, but really nothing that fancy. But it did allow me to send my co my kid to uh, boarding school, which has been doing well. And now we have 50,000 out of pockets, which we could give to our kid. I was thinking about upgrading our house. I think we probably won't end up doing that. But uh, now we have all these paintings and stuff that I can give to the kid too. It's probably like 40, 50,000, which is kind of cool. Uh, I love it. But we will uh, we'll talk very soon. I'm going to let you guys go. So I'll see you guys. Thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. If you guys want to check out the rest of the series, hit that series button. Listen to me tell more stupid, funny stories about my life. But I'll talk to you guys soon. I'll see you. Have a great day.